Hi viewers, this is Krish. In this video, I just want to share you some SAP security related interview questions. So these are nothing but the questions which I faced when I attended an interview and some of them are uh, where my colleagues and my friends uh, asked me when they faced these questions in the interviews. But I just want to make one note here. The questions might be very simple or maybe very tough. These questions are useful for all categories of the people like freshers to the experienced people. I just want to share my knowledge with you. And it is not that every interviewer will ask the same questions all the time. And they may not expect the same answers as well. Just as a knowledge sharing, I just want to share some of the interview questions, whatever I do remember, related to SAP security in this video. Okay, without any lead, let's start the questions. So initially, most of the interviews ask about the different types of users in SAP. So we do have five types of users. Dialog, service, system, communication, and reference user type. For dialog and service user, GUI login is allowed, whereas for system communication and reference, GUI login is not allowed. One question here the most interviewers ask us, what type of user is Firefighter ID? Firefighter UD is service user type. Then I remember here, one of the interviewer in my previous experience asked the question, Firefighter is a service. It means that you are allowing GUI login, but I want to restrict the firefighter ID from the GUI login. So how you are going to make it? At that moment, I never knew it. And even I never tried it. But when I googled it, I got some answer. There are some steps which we can make it like service ID, where we can stop the service ID from the GUI login. I will give you the link in the description so that can be useful for you. And if there are any other answers, you are always welcome. You can give in the comment section for this. Why can't the firefighter ID be a system user ID rather than service? Practically, I never used it as a system ID. So it is service ID only firefighter. We do use it. But if anyone has used it as a system ID or if you have a solution, I'm so happy. To get that knowledge, please comment in the comment section. Next on the user logs, generally the interviewer focuses how many types of user logs are there. So we do know that there are different types of user log. Zero, it is unlocked. 32, locked by CV. 64, it is locked by the system admin. 128, it is locked due to multiple incorrect logins. And 192 is nothing but a combination of uh, log due to incorrect logins as well as a system log. Here, sometimes the interviewer also asked me, how can you find the active users in the system at this particular point of time? Yes, we can find it by using USR02 table. So USR02 table will give you uh, whether the user is locked or not, whether the user is in validity or not. What is the last logon, etc. So if I want to get the active users, I just keep that if the user lock is zero and the validity is greater than today so that I can get the active users as on today in the system. And the next question is most of the times interviewers focus. I have a list of user IDs. I want to get the email IDs of them. Here, I do remember one situation. Generally, you know, in these many years of experience, I never used these tables for email ID. I have a habit of going to SU20 code, go to the address data tab, give this user IDs and execute. Automatically, it used to give me all the email IDs and I used to use it. But actually, the interviewer is expecting something where from which tables we can get this email IDs. Uh, we have two tables. One is USR21 and ADR6, two tables we need to use. Because ADR6 is a table where you have the email ID for the users. But unfortunately, there you don't have a field of user ID. So you need to pull the email IDs based on either the personal number or account number. So how to get this personal number or account number? So I need to go for USR21. So first I need to get the data from 
uh, USR 21. I need to give the input as user IDs and get the personal numbers or the account numbers. And this need to be supplied as an input to the ADR6 table to get the email IDs. So this is how we can get the email IDs. Sometimes the interviewer asks, how can I lock all the users in a system at a once so i can go to su10 and i can lock all the users at a time or you can also use ews certified code which can be used to lock all the users um, illegal passwords also rarely interview us usr40 is a table where you can see this illegal passwords there are some type question asked on what is the difference between SAP All and SAP New. SAP All is one which gives you authorization to all the authorization objects in the system. Whereas SAP New is for the uh, new authorization objects which especially come when you are upgrading the system. So whenever you are upgrading the system, it is required to have SAP underscore new. Sometimes the interviewer may also ask the questions on user termination process or user onboarding process. But this is not a generic answer. It is dependent on the client and the project. The process will be varying for onboarding and termination. But in generally for the termination, what we do is whenever the user terminated from the organization, we will lock the user and we will end the validity date. And after 30 days or 60 days or something the roles will be automatically uh, deleted by running some batch job there is one question i do remember here i have 500 users and i need to assign uh, thousand roles to the users so how are you going to take it up yeah su10 we can use for all those users for the roles then the interviewer asked the roles are not similar for all of them then how you are going to approach it? SU10 I can use if and only if the roles are common. But if there are the different roles and I want to create all of them at once, I cannot go that. So it is one of the solution is to go with a ECAT script where I can develop a script and I can give those all users along with their uh, roles to be assigned. So at a go, all the users with that roles will be created in the system. These are the few SAP security questions related to user administration what I remember I thought of sharing with you there are a lot many questions which the interviewer focuses related to rules related to other T codes critical authorizations etc so I will try to share those questions as well in the upcoming videos if you have any other questions related to the user administration and security please feel free to comment in the video hope this is useful Thank you for watching.